Okay guys, so I figured I'd film the weigh-in video a bit differently, mainly because I filmed it last night and the entire video was out of focus. So, um, let's start off with Gizmo here, you can see she's doing a bit of digging. Look at her little legs, it's so cute. So there may be a good reason why she's digging. The other day actually, on the 24th, she laid two eggs. One was in her water bowl and one was in her cold hide and I believe they'd been like freshly laid because they were still quite big and sort of squishy. Let me just open this up a bit one sec. You okay Giz? So since then I've been trying to feed her a little bit every day to get her weight up because obviously she looks so skinny. And I also predict she'll probably lay two more eggs kind of soon. The reason I believe that is because on the 18th of April she laid two eggs. And five days later she laid those other two that are kind of like undeveloped. They're really weird. And I predicted she will lay eight eggs in total. And so far she's laid six. Um, it doesn't look like she would be carrying any because she's so thin. But she could very well be. And recently, just because she is so small, she has been like, as soon as I open the door, she'll usually run over and see like whether I've got food. But anyway, I weighed her. And although she has 49 grams last month and she's laid two eggs, she's actually 47. Which, to be fair, it isn't ideal, obviously. But at one point last year, she got down to 38. So... Considering she's laid six eggs, 47 isn't too bad. Now, for the purpose of just keeping things simple, I'm just going to refer to her as a she in this video, but that isn't confirmed or anything. Um, so basically, she's currently here. I don't know how well you can see her. Just here. <laughs> in her hide, and the light is shining on her. I have noticed, I don't know this could be down to heat, because we have had a lot of warm weather lately, or it could be to do with the introduction of the UVB light, but the energy on this gecko is insane. She's so active. Um, it, you know, this isn't a great example, but when I have her out, she's just, she can be so quick and she can jump, but it's like fine. It's, it's not that she's trying to get away, but she's exploring and it's like really good to see. Anyway, when I first got her, she was about 15 centimeters long and I haven't actually um, measured her since but I did weigh her yesterday and she's 20 grams I actually thought she was gonna be a lot less and I believe the main island ones like what she is um, can get up to like 45 grams so really she's doing well she hatched out in December I think late December so she's coming up for like she's like five or six months old 20 grams she hasn't eaten any live food yet I even put in um, Kelsey worms, she actually ran away from one the other day um, and I put some in overnight and put like a night vision camera on her to see if she would eat them and she didn't even show any interest so I don't know why but she is eating her made up food. Now we have Ziggy and this month's been pretty rough for her so on the 30th of March she laid her first ever egg and this entire month she has been carrying around these two massive eggs I can feel so clearly like on when you touch her belly they're like so hard and yet my other geckos lay eggs you can't usually feel them that much so I really really hope she lays them she has been digging around here lately but I don't think she's laid them another really bad thing that happened actually is her front two legs really randomly looked mangled and swollen it was strange now at first I jumped to conclusions I was like oh my gosh she's got metabolic bone disease I don't know how this has happened because you know I provide the UVB I provide her with the correct supplements and nothing else on her body looks like how metabolic bone disease would sort of show up you know like on her spine or her jaw or her other legs it was just these two front legs and as you can tell they look pretty horrendous she couldn't hold herself up properly with them like she'd walk but you know she couldn't really do much so what I did is I put in her Arcadia Earth Pro A in here her calcium and magnesium is always in her and her lights on as usual and um, a couple of days I did give her a synthetic vitamin powder with a synthetic D3 in just because I was like have a top up and 
There's a theory that if it was to do with the vitamins, lack of vitamins, it could be because these eggs are so big and they're taking all the reserves. But, saying that, um, they've sort of just completely gone back to normal now. And so I'm wondering, were they swollen? What happened? Because as I said, the rest of her body didn't really look like she would be having, like, metabolic brain disease troubles. She didn't have any other symptoms apart from these weird ankles. You know, pregnant women get swollen ankles. <laughs> I don't know if that happens in geckos. But I'm just glad they're back to normal now because I was really worried. But here she is. Oh, look at that big belly. Yeah, they need to come out. Anyway... Last month she was 69 grams and this month she's 68. I'm pretty sure the eggs are helping with that weight, but oh, I just hope she lays them soon. Next we have Minnie who is currently in her cave, she might come out in a minute. This month she has laid her first ever egg on the 16th and then on the 19th she laid another one. It's completely unexpected and um, we can assume they probably came from the same clutch because there's no way you lay an egg and in three days you produced, fully produced a massive egg again so I think they're from the same clutch um, and she has gone from 57 grams to 51 grams um, oh one thing I want to quickly mention because I get this a lot and I really I just oh, I wish I never mentioned it now it's I said about a natural leopard gecko tank and that I had everything ready in February but the substrate I've been advised on using apparently it's good for this sort of thing isn't out yet it still isn't out yet so I'm still waiting on it so I know people ask me pretty much every video and if I ever seem a little bit like short with people it's because I get asked so much and I'm as frustrated as you are because I do want to just get on and try to make the tank and it'd probably be Ziggy who has it done first um, just because using real rocks makes the tank really heavy and what gizmos on probably wouldn't support that weight um, but Ziggy and Mini, it would support over here. Anyway, so if you're wondering where that is, I still haven't been able to get on with it, unfortunately. But when I do, I will film it all and I will put it all up on YouTube. So now for Lyra. You probably can't see her, so I might just put a picture up instead. Um, basically, she is as normal. She's always around um, the mid-40 mark and she went from 46 grams to 44 so I'm not worried at all, she's a very large, healthy looking crested gecko, so I'm very happy with that. Her light is currently off because it's gone 6 o'clock, that's when her light goes off. So it's evening time for her, she should be waking up soon. And finally, we have Diego. So Diego's pretty much been eating everything, uh, Mario worms, calcium worms, mealworms, wax worms, the old cricket, he's not overly enthusiastic. And also, I got like a box of crickets through the post, as you do, and a random locust was in with them. So I did try it with the other geckos, including Diego, and literally <laughs> nobody showed any interest in it. I don't know why. Anyway, because I know some geckos really love locusts. Anyway, he, despite eating loads and being very muscular, even getting those armpit boobs, if you've ever wondered why your geckos have got bubbles under their armpits, I have done a video on that if you want to learn more about that. But even though He's very hefty and hench. Um, he's only gained a gram in a whole month. He's not he's 94 grams now. So I mean he's healthy, look at him. Now he's showing off. And I would say, if you get the choice out of a male or female leopard gecko, as much I love all my geckos equally, but males are so much less hassle. The only thing I have to put up with, with Diego is him randomly doing mating displays at nothing. Poor guy's quite frustrated. But uh, <laughs> that's about it. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>